Hey guys, it's Simplicity, and welcome back to another current household. So you guys may have seen this house before. It was in a speed build, and currently this guy looks like cotton candy. But we are playing in Matt's household right now. Um, speaking of which, he's down here. And I'm just going to give you a very quick house tour if you guys haven't seen this house before. I will have the, the speed build to this linked, but as you walk in, off to the left there's a bathroom. There's just like a mini kind of hallway kind of thing, and then there's a living room over here with some couches. Um, there's a TV over top of the fireplace. There's some books and some stuff for a dog, which you'll be meeting in a little. And then if you head on over here, you have the dining room where Liz is currently with the um, record player. Then we have some stuff over here again for the dog in like the main kitchen. Uh, we don't have a toddler anymore, so I could get rid of the high chair. And do I want to move that over here? No, I like that quite what it was actually. Alright. So then anyways, off to the right here we have the kitchen. Super simple, but I really like it. And, and then if we head on over here, we have like, the hallway in from the garage, which is off over here. Here's our garage. There's not currently a car in it. And then over here we have the laundry room off to the side and out of the way. Um, and then in the backyard it's fenced in. Uh, we don't have anything over here but the trash can. Then we've got a ball. We have a sandbox over here for the kids. And then we also have a little like play thing outside. A jungle gym kind of playground. Whatever you want to call it. Uh, over here are the stairs to go off the deck, and then if you keep on going over here, we have a little fire pit, which we haven't used since the weather has been snow, and then you have Liz's garden over here. So we have some lettuce, some watermelon, a red berry bean plant, uh, we have these plants here as well, we have pomegranate, plum, and pomelo trees. So we have quite an array for our garden. And then if we head on upstairs here, um, back here we have Matt and Liz's room here with the ensuite bathroom. This is your like hallway when you walk up. Over here the bright pink room is Kayla's. Back here we have like a computer room. Then you have a bathroom which is attached to Lucas's room which is over here. He is back from boarding school. so. You guys actually get to see him this time. But that's just a really quick overview of the house. And then if we go on into The Sims, we can show you Matt first, because he is the main Norris of this family. He was um, Isabella and Kenny's kid, so here he is. Um, water wrinkles. He ages up in 23 days, and you guys know all of this stuff already. If you haven't, go and watch some other videos, but... Uh, he is currently level 7 in the military career. For his skills, he's mastered athletic, he's level 4 cooking, level 4 gardening, mastered the handiness skill. Um, level 4 logic, level 1 martial arts. And that's it for his skills. He's just got like a bunch of diplomas and this weird plush doll thing in here. And he's currently got the observant lifetime award thing. Even though there is so many more that we could get for them. I'm not sure what we would get though. Um, I can do this on camera, why not? Uh, let's see. What would be good for Matt? Hmm. I could do one to cook because he does kind of like to cook. Um... I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. We could do fast learner because that would be quite nice. Um I love how we're only like five minutes in and I'm already going and probably boring you guys with all of this. Uh we'll also do office hero. Because he does need to get along with coworkers quite well, which is good. Uh, we can do... 
Let's see. We can do legendary host for one of we do throw some parties. Um We'll also do the profession no. We'll do opportunistic because I kinda like having more rewards for opportunities. I don't know. Probably really weird. And uh we can do carefully. Because that would be nice to get some fun quite faster. Because he's always stressed out when he gets home from work. And then we can do... I don't know. We have 29 reward points left. Uh, 29,000. Not 29. We can do... I don't know. That's animal expert. No, yeah, let's do Animal Expert, because that gets rid of most of them. Alright, there we go. So yeah, there's Matt. Um, for Liz over here, she is currently over here eating some cake for breakfast. Uh, she ages up in 25 days. Again, you guys should know all of that stuff. She is currently at level 5 in the science career. For her skills, she's level 5 cooking, level 1 bowling, level 1 fishing, level 9 gardening. Um, level 5 handiness, level 3 logic, level 3 painting, and she's got some random seeds in here which we actually don't need. So I think we might go ahead and sell those for um, some simoleons, because our garden is already like really big and we don't need to add on to it because it takes her forever as it is. Which is why Matt has a gardening skill, because he helps out with her garden. Uh, for her, she has the super green thumb and the fast learner. We'll go ahead and spend some um, uh, lifetime award points on her as well. She doesn't have as many, but that's okay. Let's see. I don't want to do like the exact same ones as what Matt has, but like the ones that Matt has would be helpful for her too. And we don't need inheritance because we already have like a lot of money, so. Hmm. Um, we'll do Born to Cook because she does have a, a pretty good cooking skill. We will do um, Office Hero as well, just so they can get along with their coworkers. And we can do um, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. And we can do... We'll do Never Dull as well. And... For her, most likely her last one, we'll do Observant. And then we have Lucas who is currently sleeping. He's got 36,000 lifetime award points. Um, I'm going to skip over him for right now though, just because he is sleeping. And I will introduce you guys over here to Kayla, who I believe was a toddler in the last update video. No, yeah, she was. She was most definitely a toddler in the last update video. Alright, I do want to get a pretty good angle so that you guys can see her face. That would be nice. Um, that's a really bad angle. Kayla. Okay. See if this works. That's a bit better. So this is Kayla. She ages up in five days. She is a Capricorn. She likes hip hop, grilled salmon, and the color red. She is brave, a couch potato, and a virtuoso. So she is a bee, and she is currently in the art club. She does quite like art. Uh, she's got one kind of friend. His name is Bo. Um, for her skills, she's level 1 skating, level 2 painting, and level 1 homework. And she's got 22,000 uh, lifetime award points. I want the extra creative one, but I don't think you can do that as a kid. It doesn't look like it. Yeah, I didn't think so. Alright. So yeah, the one I want for her we can't get quite yet. But that's alright. We will get it for her when she is older. But yeah, so that's Kayla. And then we have Oliver, who 
I will try and show you guys. He's upstairs sleeping at the moment, so I'm going to let him finish sleeping. We're going to play it for a little bit. And that's about it, honestly. Um, we're having a problem with the fudge. Okay, Matt. I need you to get out of the way. You can come over here and go pee. Alright. It's okay looking at his awesome cake. And you can eat some food as well. I feel like this update's really boring so far, you guys. I'm sorry. And, like, it's super late as I'm filming this, too. Which is my own fault. So, I'm sorry if I sound, like, really tired or whatever. Because I kind of am. Um, you can go upstairs and finish your painting. And Lucas needs to hurry up and wake up. I honestly, he looks so much like Liz. But, he's Oliver. He sleeps there. But, while I'm at it, I, while he's sleeping, I can show you guys his prom stuff. He did go to prom. He won Prom King, this is his prom photo, and he now has a romantic interest because of it. Her name is Deborah. All we know is that she's family oriented and that she's a Scorpio, so. Which I'm also a Scorpio. Fun fact. But yeah. Um. I forgot there was a dream about option. Uh, would you dream about being Bella Victorian? Because I see him as being like that super popular, like nerdy jock kind of guy. I don't know. Like, a smart jock. That's what I should have said. Okay. Um, he needs to get along better with his boss. What just is his boss right here. His name is Chad. Uh, you can go ahead and fill up the food first, and then go ahead and chat with your boss. Um... And then I'll let him actually come up here and do some chin-ups. There we go. Uh, Lucas should be waking up here pretty soon. Kayla just finished a painting. Oh, look at that. Lucas is awake. Okay, I'm going to let him go shower up. Uh, you can take this painting. Her brother, I believe, actually has the same one in his room from whenever he was a kid. Uh, you can go ahead and start another painting. I'll show you guys Lucas in a second. He's currently in the shower. But over here, this is Oliver. He is a corgi. Uh, he's kind of lonely right now, which kind of sucks, but he's been sleeping. Um, so yeah, this is Oliver. He ages up in 55 days. He's playful, hyper, non-destructive, adventurous, and loyal. Uh, his best friend forever is Lucas. And he has mastered the trick skill. And he's got 5,000 lifetime award points. Which I could get him the beloved animal one, because he is a very beloved animal. But I also really want the pet hygienator. But, you know what, we'll get the beloved animal one for right now and work towards getting the pet one. Alright, so now we'll wait for Lucas to finish in the shower. Oh look, all of us awake. And Lucas is super hungry. Um, what are you doing? Playing in a puddle. How about you actually come down here and get some food? That sounds like a very good idea. Oh, uh, Maid is here. I think her name is Candy. Alright. Lucas. Uh, Kayla has improved her painting skill to level 3. He's hungry. He wants to eat a tomato. Not that I know where he got the tomato from. Can you come and eat just a fried peanut butter and banana, honestly? Um, he doesn't even have a tomato in his inventory. That doesn't make any sense. And I actually need to place down the sketch that we have from him. This one over here was also made by Lucas, and then we also have this one above his desk from when he was a kid. Which, it doesn't need to be there. We'll place that in here for right now. What does this look like? Ooh. Yeah, no, I don't like that. We're gonna sell that. And I'll just put this one back up here for right now. We also have a Fuzo Bunny Gnome. And we have a creepy... Sticking out its tongue plush thing. I don't know what you would call it. But now they don't want to go away. 
Oh boy. Does anyone else have this issue when it comes to these things? Like, I can never get rid of them. Like, I try and, like, sell them and it never works. So I'm just gonna delete them. There we go. Alright, so this is Lucas. I'll show you guys his face in a second. Is he looking forward? No. Of course he's not. Okay. That's a bit better. So, we will go ahead and show you guys Lucas now. You guys, honestly, I think he looks so much like his mom. But, like, he does have parts of Matt in him as well. This is Lucas. I think he's adorable. I love him. By far, one of my favorite Sims of, like, the Norris family. Like, I love all of them, honestly. But, look at how cute he is. I'm going to take a screenshot for the Tumblr. There we go. So he ages up in 21 days. He's a Gemini. He likes soul music, a goopy pug, carbonara, and the color lilac. He's disciplined, clumsy, nurturing, and athletic. He's currently a C student, and he is involved in the art club as well. Um, he's got Deborah, as I said earlier. For his skills, he's level 2 handiness, level 7 logic, level 4 painting. And that's honestly about it. And he's got 36,000 lifetime award points, which I want, honestly, I want him to be a nerd. So I might end up using them on that, but I also really want him to be observant so we can figure out Deborah's other traits. And then I'm just going to go ahead and buy him some nerd influence. Because honestly, I kind of see him as like a video game developer. I don't know. That's probably like really random. But that is honestly how I see him. Like, I see him very, like, nerdy and into video games. Even though, like, I haven't had him play much because he went off to Sports Academy as a kid. That was only because, um, Matt wanted him to. But, and I mean, now I get to choose a bonus trait for him. They want him to be a computer whiz. I'm honestly, I'm thinking, like, genius. But computer whiz could work, too. I'm probably going to send him through university so I could give him both. Not yet, honestly, because he's a teenager, but at some point. I could see, like, him and Destiny going, and, like, Aaliyah going to college together. I don't know if that's what I'll do or not, though. Alright. There we go. So he now has another treat. And he's just really hungry right now, so I'm going to let him go ahead and eat. And there we go. How long have I been? 18 minutes. Alright. So you can go ahead and eat. I'm quite happy that I got him the nerd influence, honestly. What are you up to, my dear? Uh, change to the weather channel. Because that is what she wanted. So I'll let her go ahead and do that. And Lucas is going to go ahead and eat his food. And we're just going to kind of wait. Actually, I'm going to have you invite over Debra so that you guys can see her. So I am. There's about comic books. We can do that. Uh, scold for... Oh, is he not? Normally he like goes in a room and like, sits in front of his food bowl and like guards it. Okay. Invite over to Debra, please. Okay, so Debra's gonna come over in a little while. And as for Mr. Ollie, can you go and talk to him? And you can also give him a hug. Because that's his puppy. I mean, Oliver's been around longer than Lucas, like, we got Luke, we got Oliver when Lucas was off at boarding school. Um, Lucas came home early from boarding school because he got homesick. We got like the phone call, and here's Debra. So we'll go ahead and invite her inside, and then you guys can go ahead and meet her. He wants to talk to Debra, which we can do. And I well, don't. Um. Okay, so my game just crashed. 
So I just had to do everything that I just did over again. But uh, we're back to where we were. And this is Deborah. This right here, this is Lucas's girlfriend. I kind of like styled her very old school, but I like her. Here she is. She's got like a tucked in t-shirt and like mom jeans. But yeah, here's Deborah. I don't know. I think she's super cute. For like a randomly generated sim. And I also sent Liz and Oliver over to the dog park. Because it's a like doggy social hour. So I figured, hey, why not? So she's over here playing chess with this guy named Dorian. And Oliver is over here. They were over there, so I don't know what happened. Um, he's over here with th this little dog here. This is Lady Brothers. So he's over here just kind of socializing with Lady. Um, I can also go ahead and show you guys all of it a bit better now that you guys can see his face. So we will go ahead and zoom on in. I will have a photo of him up on Tumblr. But. There he is. This is Oliver. So anyways, now we'll go ahead and go back on over to Lucas. Okay. So yeah, he's going to go and talk to Miss Deborah. And. Okay. We are at 21 minutes. Alright. At least I'm pretty sure that's around what it is because I'm comparing it to the time from what I took off from filming. Uh, like when I, my game crashed. English. I'm not very good at English when I'm tired. But okay, so he's going to ask her about her career. Uh, Liz just grasped the basics of chess. We found out that Deborah is a babysitter and that she is avant-garde, a slob, and something else. But I think we know all of her traits now. He also wants to mind meld, which isn't going to do anything since um, we just found out all of her traits. Maybe we can't even do it anyways. Uh, go bowling. Okay, so family-oriented, charismatic, slob, and avant-garde her traits. But you can go ahead and mind meld. It's not going to let you learn anything about her, but... Uh, knows all the traits. Yes, I know. Okay, so I want to get them all flirty. Let them have their first kiss on camera. Because I'm not letting them have any privacy. You guys can see it all. And now it's a date. And I'm just gonna queue up like a bunch of like random cute things. And hope that it works. And hold hands with her. The maid's done apparently. Alright. Um, Oliver's over there digging a hole because his uh, I can't speak. His destruction is low. For some reason, I thought they had toys over here. Maybe I'm wrong. Like I know that they have balls, but I thought they had like destruction toys. Do they not? No, they do. But you can't click on it. Well, what good is that going to do? Like, do you guys see this? I just get the end last thing. That's it. That's all. My eye is so itchy. And I guess Lady left. They didn't really become any like good friends or anything like that. But that's okay. I don't even know where... Oh, there he is. I was like, I don't even know where he is. But I think I'm going to have them probably go ahead and actually head on home. I just realized that Liz is friends with Chad. That's kind of weird. But you can go here with Oliver. Alright, so they're going to come and head on home. Um, Lucas is still being all flirty flirty with Deborah. And he wants to watch a movie. I'll let you go ahead and give her an uh, Amoris hug as well. Like how cute these two are though. And like I love her outfit. Because it's like 
it's so old school, but it's so cute. And I want screenshots. Tumblr. Link in the description if you guys haven't or didn't know that I have a Tumblr. It is down below. My game's being really laggy and I'm really hoping it doesn't crash again. But I'm going to get a screenshot of these two hugging. Because super freaking cute. There we go. Alright. And then... Um, how about we just go for the first kiss? See how that goes. And this is probably gonna take forever of them like like oh my goodness. You guys do you see the way he looks at her? Every single time I get close to his face it's not gonna let me. But like you guys can see it, look at the way he looks at her. That's I've never had a sim look at somebody like that. That is so freaking cute. Oh, I can't. I'm obsessed. I am so obsessed. And she's kind of looking at him the same way. And she's got, like, a goofy smile on her face. Oh. I love these two. My game put them together. Thank you, Plum. Alright. First kiss any time now. Now oh, he's gonna go for it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I kind of missed the moment, but you guys will know what it is. Oh, my little heart's so happy right now. But you know what's really awkward? Look who's home. Yep, Liz just got home to her son having his first kiss. Like, if that's not awkward. But okay, that was very cute. Um... Hmm. Now what? How about you ask her to be your girlfriend? That's cute. And there we go. Oh. So now they're the boyfriend and girlfriend. Instead of just romantic interests. And I kind of want them to go and see a movie. And he wants to pillow fight with Deborah. So maybe we can do that as well. Um, the movie theater actually like right by the house. And the next show isn't till five. Okay. So that's not going to work. So we're not gonna go and see a movie. But we can pillow fight with her. He also wants to make out with her. So that's a thing. Um, actually, how about we go up here to his room? I can't have them go here together. That's kind of annoying. How about you come and ask Deborah to pill a fight? And then I can look after everyone else while they go upstairs. Lucas has en entered an exclusive relationship with Deborah. Alright. Miss Kayla... How is Liz? What are you up to, my dear? You just got home. You can come and eat some lobster. And I'm going to get Kayla to come and eat some lobster as well. Uh, he's got to work out for eight hours straight. He's at about seven. So he can come and eat some lobster when he is done as well. And Kayla just got level four of the painting skill. I don't see her as a painter whenever she gets older, but you never know. She's only a child. I've got time. Uh, you need to go to the bathroom when you're done. And then you can come up here and take a shower and use the toilet. Alright. And then... I don't know what I want her to do, but those two are pillow fighting. You can chat with someone, but I want a screenshot of them pillow fighting. So I do. I'm like, first date goals right here, guys. Having a kiss outside of his house, asking her, her to be his girlfriend, and then coming upstairs to the, his room for a pillow fight. And that works. 
You guys will know what it is, but like, look at these two. Like, this is cute. Oh, he doesn't look very happy. Alright, so there's the pillow fight. He also wants to make out with her. So, how about you go ahead and do that now, if she will let you. Okay, you guys are a bit too close here. Very, very close. And... Okay, yeah, she's into it. But, it's actually pretty much... I want to picture this, too. For the tumbler. But I need a good angle. But while I'm at this, it's pretty much time that I go ahead and wrap this video up here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button down below. If you want to see some more videos from me, you can hit that subscribe button. If you're already subscribed, hit that bell down below. You can write a comment if you want to. And yeah, that's pretty much that's about it. I will see you guys all in my very next video. Bye guys.